In a much-awaited confirmation, the co-director of BrahMos Aerospace Alexander Meksikwev has said that the Mach 7 capable BrahMos hypersonic system being developed by the Indo-Russian joint venture company will be fully ready by 2028. He also informed that the plan for the design of the hypersonic variant is split into two stages. The first stage includes the design and development of a Mach 5 capable system by 2024, and the second stage includes the design and development of a Mach 7 capable variant by 2027. He also added that its engineers have already tested some components that will help it to reach the target speed. Officials have said that after the return of the Defense Minister Rajnath Singh from his visit to Russia on 7 September, he will formally induct the five Rafale fighter jets into the Indian Air Force on 10 September at the Ambala Air Base in an induction ceremony, for which the French Defense Minister Florence Parley have also been invited. New reports indicate that the second batch of four Rafale fighter jets will also arrive at the Ambala Air Force Station in October, thus increasing the Rafale fleet strength to nine fighter jets. The CEO of the Indo-Israeli joint venture company Kalyani Rafale Advanced Systems has said that the company will not restrict itself as a production or system integration facility and is all set to launch a new research and development center for optoelectronics by the end of this year. The company has already established a missile subsystem manufacturing as well as repair and overhaul facility with an investment of around 70 crore rupees. The Defence Ministry will make an announcement on 8 October, on the setting up of the new Air Defence Command, that is likely to be based under the Air Force's Central Command headquartered in the northern state of UP. The Air Defence Command will bring all the aerial platforms of the Air Force Navy and Army under one command, and will be responsible for guarding the Indian airspace against hostile aircraft missiles, helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles in an integrated manner. The Indian Navy has floated a request for information for procuring 10 remotely piloted underwater vehicles that would surveil the waters to detect, identify and classify any laid mines, and could launch a shaped charge to neutralize them. Both wired and wireless systems can participate in the tender, but interested companies have only till October 2020 to respond. The Indian Air Force has put out a notice to acquire 44-4 helmets for the pilots flying the indigenous Aegis Light Combat Aircraft, which projects vital flight parameters on the helmet visor, and the pilot can cue in on the target by just turning head and looking towards it. Bharat Electronics Limited had entered into a collaboration with Israel's Elbit Systems to produce helmet-mounted display system for military helicopter pilots, and a cost-benefit analysis would tell us if such an arrangement would be feasible with long-term advantages. The Athos 2052 Toad Howitzer developed by Elbit Systems had won a tender valued at over $1 billion for supplying 1,580 units to the Indian Army, but new reports indicate that it might be replaced with the indigenously developed 155mm 52 caliber Bharat 52 Toad Howitzer developed by the Indian private sector firm Kalyani Group, and an initial order for 400 units will be made once it is cleared by the Indian Army, which is currently in the final stage of trials. The Japanese media has reported that the Japanese Prime Minister has resigned due to health reasons, and this development might delay the signing of acquisition and cross-servicing agreement between India and Japan, that was expected to be concluded at the upcoming annual summit between PM Modi and his Japanese counterpart in October. Thank <laughs> you.